Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we've got a new box, which means new fish. This one is from Predator Aquatics. Now Predator Aquatics is a fairly new venture, I understand. Uh, they contacted me to ask me if they could send me some fish. So, full disclosure, these fish have been sent to me. Um, by Predator Aquatics. Um, as usual though, I'm under no obligation to say everything's fantastic or it's not. You're going to get my real opinion if this is a box full of dead fish. Then that's what you'll see. Um, but so far, my experience has been really good. I'll put a link down in the description to these guys, but I'll talk you through them as I show you the fish. But first off, let's get in here and have a look. So first impressions are good. It's in a big poly box, really well wrapped. This came from UPS. Um, I arrived this morning. Nice and early, which is always nice. Yeah, the box itself does have notices all the way around saying live fish, handle with care, this way up, etc. And there we go. It's a fairly well packaged box. I can see the heat packs there and they are still hot. Um, if you can see in the roof or the lid of the box as well, they've actually cut holes to allow air in and out which is a really good sign, often forgotten by people packing things. It's a fairly good amount of packaging to keep the, the bags upright. And the bags themselves, plenty of water. And hopefully you can see in there with some fairly good sized angelfish. Now these are autumn angelfish, two bags of five juveniles. Looking a little bit stressed, as you would if you had just come through the post. Um, a little bit of poop in the bags, which happens. But yeah, everything's nice and dry. It's nice and warm in here as well. And really good to see um, heat packs being used because it was actually one of the coldest nights in a long time around here. So like I say, really good packaging here. We've got two heat packs on either side of this um, and we've got lots of paper packaging down the sides keep everything upright and it's a good sized poly box and um, one of the good things about these guys or one of the things that I thought was a, a good deal is that a box this size is £10 shipping and um, often it's £15 shipping for a box or even more um, I've seen in a few places I think their standard rate is £10 for a box like this so any amount of fish that you can cram in here so for instance I've got 10 of these Altum Angels and these, these are described as juveniles and I got to buy these off the website and they're a really good size for juveniles I was expecting a lot smaller than that but yeah really happy with that at the moment I think they're an online only enterprise like I said go down and check out the website I bought through the website just so that I could see the full customer experience and make sure everything is good the website itself has a load of different categories you can tell these guys are obviously interested in the big predators and there's some really rare and exotic types that you can get on there and um, but they've also got some more of the run-of-the-mill type stuff as well we talked back and forth for a while about a flower horn because that was what originally I was interested in getting but in the end due to what's going on in the world it was really hard to source the right thing so we went for these angels in the end and yeah so far really pleased like I say, they're an online enterprise, the website's pretty well laid out, but they've also got a chat function and Facebook page, so if there's something that you don't find that you're particularly looking for, then you can message them. And I spoke back and forth a few times, sorting things out. It was a really easy, um, lots of communication, lots of information, really easy to do. When it came to actually placing my order, um, really straightforward, loads of information. And was given the tracking number so I could follow it, see it coming uh, through the, the delivery process, and got here really early, which is good. I don't think I've ever received fish from UPS before. It's usually APC around here. And um, but yeah, packaging, tick, good job. I think they're based in the kind of northwest, uh, Wirral, Merseyside, that kind of area, and they are planning to open a bricks and mortar shop at some point. And they did ask me to mention that, so it's worth considering if you live in that area, that may be a new place to go and check them out. 
especially if some of the stock that they've got on the website, if they've got that in their actual place, it's probably going to be like a, a good day out just to go and check them out. But as well as the fish, like I said, they do the normal fish, normal fish, as well as the more exotic types, but they also do dry goods and things like that as well. And apparently they're making custom aquariums, so that's another place to check out if you're interested in that sort of thing. So as well as the fish, both normal and exotic, they've got their dry goods, they've got the custom aquariums, just go and check out the website. They've actually given me a promo code to use, so if you are interested and you want to go and check out the website, the link will be in the description and at the end of the video I'll give you a promo code that you can use to get 5% off your order if you decide there's something you like there. So we'll get these guys moved into the tank that I'm going to put them in, in the fish room and we'll talk a little bit more about them. Right, so I've got the bags floating in here now. This temperature of this tank is 28 degrees. I've measured the temperature of the water in the bags and the heat packs were actually doing a really good job because there was 26.2 in the bag I think we're 27.8 up here so we're only a couple of degrees out um, I know what time they were packed yesterday because they sent me a message as soon as they were shipped and I know what time they arrived so they've actually not been in the bags all that long but still I'm going to use the same procedure that I use for all the fish that I buy off the internet or get shipped from anywhere the plop and drop method, where rather than trying to drip acclimate them, I think the most important thing to do, because I did notice some poop in some of the bags, uh, one of the bags rather, is to get them out and get them into the new fresh water, so any difference in pH is probably going to be less stressful and less hard on the fish uh, than any fluctuation of ammonia or ammonia spikes once the oxygen gets into the bags. So we're going to get them out and we're going to get them into this tank. And we've talked about this tank before, my original plan with this tank was to get a, a snake head or snake heads and I was looking at the Stuarty or the Blaheri or the, the rainbow snake heads as what I wanted to keep in here because they're kind of the smaller ones and I, my understanding is that they are the ones that will tolerate tank mates better. So I always wanted to keep them with other tank mates and Altam Angels especially. I mean I'm not 100% sure on the the background of these fish, um, but they're more of a wild type. Um, certainly a lot larger as well, so these will get some size on them, these guys, hopefully. So I think that might work in this tank with lots of plants, lots of wood. Um, but for now, these are going to be the inhabitants. So we'll leave them to float for maybe 20 minutes. No, no more than that will be needed and we'll get them in there. So I've given them about 20 minutes, the temperature's up to the same, it's equal in the bags and in the tank. I'm going to get them out, I've got my net here, over a little bucket, I'm just going to pour the bags into there and then get the fish back into the water. So you may be wondering why angels, why the autumn or autumn angels. Um, they have very similar requirements to discus. And as you can see, I'm an avid discus fan, so it gives me more options. So I talked a minute ago about how I could potentially keep these fish in that tank and go for something like snake heads, but I could equally put them up into my big display tank upstairs with my discus and have them with them, because they like soft water, right? slightly acidic, slightly warm. Same sort of requirements and from similar area as the discus. In. And these guys share a lot of the similarities uh, with the more common angels, but they're just that little bit more special and they do get a bit larger and um, they do look a bit more wild. Most of them are wild caught, I don't know if these ones are. Um, but yeah, they're just a little bit more special. So there we go, they're all chilling out now a little bit. Like I said before, autumn angels, they're, they're a different species than your regular angels that you would normally see. They're meant to be a lot bigger. Um, they have different water requirements, so you need to make sure they are what they, they say they are. Um, but only time will tell with these guys. Often they're confused and there's true autumns and non-true autumns and Peruvian autumns and Scalaris that just have similar markings. So there's lots of ways to get caught out with these. Um, but yeah, follow along. Make sure you click that subscribe button and find out what these turn out to be. Obviously they're a bit discoloured at the moment or they're not fully coloured up and you can't fully see the stripes but you can just about see them in the background. I'm um, being a bit stressed from just being added to the tank but some of them are starting to darken up or colour up. So an encouraging sign is that little bump that you might be able to see 
um, just kind of above his mouth. That's a, an Altum trait. I think Altum just means high finned. Because um, these, like I say, I keep saying this, but they get big. But yeah, they look to be settling in really well. And with a group this size, so this is a group of 10, I'm kind of almost guaranteed to get a pair form up at some point. And then that's the next little breeding project. I mean, these were traditionally, these were always wild caught. Um, very hard to breed in captivity, but I think it's been done quite a few times more recently. So, you know, it's another challenge. I think the main challenge these days is to get them to raise their own fry properly in captivity. And quite often it's done artificially. But yeah, it's something to look forward to, a new project in the fish room. One thing I might change is this tank is quite bright because we're kind of sparse on the vegetation at the moment. Uh, plus I'm overexposing this at the moment, but that's another reason. Um, I do prefer a darker tank with lots of hiding spaces, so I need to get my bumming gear and find some more bits of wood to create some more caves and hiding spaces for these guys, but I'll just put in a few extra pots and things for the moment. And hopefully that'll take them good, that'll do them quite well. I'll not try and feed them quite yet, I'll let them settle in for a little while. And we come back and feed them later on tonight, so you can see how they get on in the next video. As always, make sure you subscribe and you won't miss out on those new videos as they come out. Hopefully this will be quite the series to follow in these guys' development and see how they get, because these, these can be stunning, really stunning, beautiful fish when they grow up. And quite often you get the, the quite defined bars, that you can see the bars developing on that one, but the defined bars and then there's the hint of colours on the tails will develop with the age. But yeah, a really good looking fish. And goes well with my discus. So I'd like to say a big thanks to Predator Aquatics. I urge you to go and check out the website. Like I said before, um, they are opening a premises at some point soon, so check the website often for updates. I've been on the website quite a lot over the past few weeks as we've been discussing things. Uh, and it does change fairly regularly. There's new stuff on there all the time. I logged on today and saw that there's loads of dry goods. Uh, loads of non-fish stuff that was on there that had been added, so I'm sure they're, they're updating that all the time. It was a yeah, really good experience, yeah, I can't complain. As you know, if you've been watching this channel, and if you haven't, click that subscribe button and it always helps. But any time I've ever been given any products or anything before for review or for free, my only stipulation is that just because you've given me something for free doesn't mean I'm going to be an extra nice to you. But in this case, it was easy because at every step of the transaction, it was really good. Um, lots of information available. Most places you're looking at £15 a box. This place is only charging £10 for shipping at the moment. So I think that's a great incentive to go and check them out. But they also, I don't know if you'd call it a, they'll take custom orders, but if you message them on Facebook or the messaging system on the website, they'll try and sort you out with whatever you want. They can get most things they claim. Obviously, right now it's a bit difficult given the things going on in the world, uh, but they've managed to ship me some fish. So, with that said, if you want to check it out and you want to order something from them, if you use the code, which I will put up here, YTAA, that'll get you 5% off your order. Once again, thank you very much to them for sorting me out with these. Hopefully we'll see them grow over the coming months and that'll be a great new um, line to start some breeding projects as well. Um, but for now, I think we'll just leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Click that subscribe button, share it with someone, and go and check them out. All the links in the description. Thank you very much. Bye.